Expanding the vaccine to younger Hoosiers will help our children start getting back to the activities they love. It will help them to have a summer that is focused on quality time and not quarantine. The CDC has officially given the green light for the use of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine in children ages 12 to 15. In Kentucky and Indiana, that's nearly 590,000 children, according to the Kaiser Family Foundation. Pfizer reports the shots are 100% effective in that age group. And today, children on both sides of the river will be able to get those shots. Brooke is joining us live now from Norton Children's Downtown, one of the many places they can get that first dose, Brooke. Good morning, Kristen. So they are looking at about 700 kids across six vaccination sites today, just through Norton alone, that'll be coming in for that first dose. And already more than 3,000 kids have pre-registered for that Pfizer vaccine. Now, again, this is for kids ages 12 to 15 who are now available for that Pfizer shot. They'll be going through the same steps as you and I would as an adult to get that shot, but they will need a parent or guardian's consent and someone who will be there with them during that process. Doctors believe children are vital to reaching this herd immunity. 5% of the population is about is, is ages 12 to 15 years old. And that's a huge amount of people that we need to get to the, the to the herd, herd immunity threshold. And so we definitely need parents to get their kids vaccinated. Otherwise, there's a higher chance we'll be dealing with this pandemic for a much longer time than we want. Now in Indiana, kids as young as 12 will also be able to sign up to get the Pfizer vaccine and starting at 8 o'clock this morning, they can do that. Families will be able to do so on the website ourshot.in.gov, just like you may have done for your dose. You'll have to select that age group that your child is in to make sure they're getting the right shot. And in Indiana, all you have to do is walk into a Pfizer vaccine facility without an appointment to get that dose, Kristen. Pretty simple, Brooke, but when we talk about the vaccine and children getting it, what are the side effects for them? So doctors have always said that with any vaccine, there comes some side effects. Fortunately, there are few, they're very mild. And they said if your kid gets a shot and does have symptoms, it's actually a good sign that your body is creating antibodies to fight against the coronavirus. So taking a look at some of those that may be apparent once you get that shot with your kid, the most common side effect is, of course, the discomfort at the injection site, a sore arm. About 77% of kids reported feeling some fatigue and less than half had chills, muscle pain or fever. Those side effects are consistent across all age groups who've gotten the dose, though the CDC data does show that younger people reported side effects more often. And keep in mind, those temporary shot reactions can be more common if you or your kids are going at the same time for that vaccine as any other vaccinations that they are getting that day, guys. All right, Brooke, thank you. A lot of useful information. And if you still have questions, though, about side effects or any other questions about getting the vaccine for your child, Norton Children's is hosting a virtual question and answer session this afternoon. Several medical professionals will be participating. It is scheduled to start at noon on Norton Children's Facebook page if you would like to tune in.